What's going on guys and welcome back to JDM Cars for Sale in South Africa. If you're one of the new 744 subscribers that have joined in this last month, my name is Nelson. I have a bunch of old broken Japanese cars. I do DIY videos on them and I do these sort of sit down videos. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a bunch of JDM cars and I'm going to give them my personal rating. So kicking us right off, we have a vehicle from an Instagram friend of mine called Niku who's selling his 300ZX with a 2J in it. It is unbelievably well built. He's actually an engine builder himself. He's given me some advice in the past. Really good guy. Not sure why he's selling, but the car is up on Gumtree and it has a hell of a lot of mods in it. It's got an ECU Master Black. It's got all sorts of stuff. T66 Turbo. It's even got a Tommy Cairo authentic rear wing on the back. I mean, just take a look at this beauty. Once you see the engine bay, you'll see how meticulously done this is. Look at that. And I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I think Nico sprayed this car himself. It's like a glistening purple slash black color. Really, really good looking. So I'm gonna give this a biased rating, very biased rating. One, actually I do like the car and I do like the engine in the car and I like that it's put together really well and the ad is fantastic. I'm gonna give this a good old nine out of 10. Moving right on onto this MX-5. I get a lot of these questions on my TikTok, especially on my TikTok. Please tell me how to import the Miata. Why do you wanna import a Miata when we have them locally? Miata is left-hand drive, United States. They're exactly the same cars. We've got them here and we've always had them here. They're called MX-5s. Here's an example. It's a 2001. It's not one with the pop-up headlights. It is, however, going for quite cheap. 60K. There's a few issues. Faulty O2 sensor. It's got to check engine light from that. And then, uh, yeah, it's it's got the hard top and soft top, which is cool. 60K. 60K is a good price. I mean, the ad is decent. It's a project car at the end of the day. Good price for a project car. I gotta give this a 6 out of 10. Moving on to a 200SX. I've actually recently seen this on Instagram. It's got a, it's the same car for sure. RB25, fat boy gearbox, Spitronics with Bluetooth setup. Uh, recently done spark plugs, daily tune. It must really pull with a, with a RB in it. Pity there's no pictures of the actual engine bay. That, that's cool. I've always wanted an S13. 1990, so it's second model, second year. 105k. Guess you gotta pay a little bit more if you're getting an RB25. I'm gonna go with the 6 out of 10 for this too. And then we have an Alteza. This, however, cannot be registered. It does have a Beams engine in it. I don't dig this. Uh, I forgot the name of this. It's not smoked out. It's. Uh, I used to have it on my own Subaru. I did my fogs in this. Lemon, lemon or something. Lumina, I don't remember. Anyway, l Tesla, it's basically an IS200 with a different engine in it. And it's got an exhaust, 63 mil exhaust, a two and a half inch, and stock otherwise. There's your beams. I would have loved to throw one of these in my, my MR2. Maybe I'll still will in the future. I need money first, I've got no money. So, seeming as blanked out yet. This is not SA Ridge. I can, you can really see here, there's a B. This is a Botswana car. For sure, Botswana car. Can't rage it. I don't know. Cool car nonetheless. 5 out of 10. Stadium. And then we've got this one. This has appeared on the channel when it was a private sale. Um, I believe the owner, I forgot the name, he had a, he had a company here in Durban that modified cars. I was going to say Ace Performance, not Ace. Uh, anyway, he's, I believe he's got an Evo as well and a few other cars. Anyway, his car is now sitting at a dealer. It's at Inspector Car in Amschlange, R33. We've gone through this car before. We have seen it. It's got an um, Apexy something in the car. I do you remember something Apexy in here? Now, remember, I don't look through all of these ads. I just open them up and then what I'm seeing right now is pretty much what you guys are seeing. Mm, ABCR, Apexy ABCR. I remember this. It was like completely stock, other than this Grady Turbo Timer and the ABCR gear knob. It's nice, but it's also pricey. But it's the going rate. Can't argue that. I'm not going to give this a rating because I have given it a rating in the past. Some cars pop up that I've 
already looked at if they are cheaper and I just thought I'd show this one now because it's sitting at a dealer and they're asking roughly the same price what he wanted before he wanted 570 or 580 then we have a rather pricey 200 SX is that an S14 in the background no it can't be a uh, rather pricey 200 SX SX with a CA18 ADT <laughs> um, yeah it's got a T3, T4 turbo, 750 injectors, daily runner, however, needs new spark plugs, and these are dyno, blah, 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 blah. It's got a sub, I don't know, very basic spec. It's got a, it's got a nice front bumper. Front mount intercooler. Some pipe works done. The engine bay looks neat. Actually looks really decent. But that asking price is a little bit much. That's some dodgy Hong Kong steering wheel, China wall thing. Yeah, it is what it is. Probably looks like auto gauge gauges. If I had to get this guy, okay, I never would because of the price. The price is ridiculous. I would throw in one of the spare steering wheels that I've got, like a true Momo, and then I've got blitz gauges, gritty gauges, a pixie gauges. Go to town, and there we go. There's an auto gauge or something nasty. That's a blanking for one of the gauges. I, I mean, no disrespect, it's just it's a bit pricey. It is clean though. That is not a S14, my bad. It looks like a 323. Anyway, wish you well at the sale, but that should probably come down. I gotta give this a 5 out of 10. 300ZX oh, Okay, so there's only three photos and a one-liner. That's amazing Okay, so it is the real deal. It's a twin turbo version apparently. There's no engine bay picks And I see something. Yeah, it says automatic Oof. Hope not. It's in Durban. This is in the Pound Town area owned by an older gentleman who for the past eight years almost said he passed away eight years ago uh, I don't know man, I've got to give this ad a 5 out of 10, I'm not even going to go much detail into it because there is not a lot of detail that I can talk about other than that big ass wing in three little pictures. Another MX-5, this one, Japanese reliability, Ooh, questionable, 95 grand, it's got pop-ups, which is good, they need to be realigned but it's got pop-ups, that can be fixed. Soft top, or is that a hard top? Is that a hard top? Soft top and hard top. Nice. I believe it's it's difficult to get the hard top. It's not rare. This is cool. Stock wheel, from what I can see. Mm, nice. Nice though. Oh, wow. Stock engine bay, besides the sensor that was put on here. And that's running somewhere, probably coming around the back. Uh, here it goes. I wonder what that's about. It, mu it must be a water temp sensor. Has to be. Nice car. Probably a little bit high on the price. But uh, you've got hard top and you've got a soft top, which is nice. 7 out of 10. I, I never thought I'd give a MX-5 a 7 out of 10, but cool. Honda Prelude. I actually know nothing about Hondas other than the NSX. So, um, it's got a 2.2 liter VTIR. It's got a VTEC 70k. It looks clean. I like the stock steering wheel, stock gear knob. So it's a manual. It's got the stock tape play on the car. Missing carpets. That's fine. No, I thought there was a carpet. And I think the steering wheel is a bit buggered. But it's stock and it's got a, oh no, it's stock interior. My bad. It's got 17 inch wheels, got a straight pipe exhaust and a dictator. That, that must sound okay, like Honda-ish. <laughs> Gotta go with a 6 out of 10. It's neat, it's neat. I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 because it's neat. Ooh, then this car popped up recently. RX-7, it's got a roll cage in it. It's got what I can see as defi gauges, it's got a Momo wheel, 
not the prettiest of Momo wheels, but it does have one. I wonder if this stuff came like this from Japan. I wonder. Front mount intercooler. Pretty much the same setup that I've got with the front mount. Obviously he's could done better pipe work. I've, I've got long pieces of silicon because I never took mine to a proper builder. I did everything in house, but he does a big filter there. He's done away with the pop-ups. Nice garage, very nice garage. That's goals right there. Crazy skirts, crazy bumper. At least the bumper matches because he's he's done the, the the headlights in there. Rear wing, big rear wing. It's not the um, Type R Z and all that Spirit R wing. Here's a full list. I think this may have popped up on the channel about a year or two ago. I do mention, did mention this, and I have seen this before rather. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this car a seven out of ten because he's thrown a nice big spec list. And he imported from Japan. Oh, the engine was rebuilt as well from AJ Racing. Very, very nice. Moving on to this uh, expensive example of a 260Z. Somebody pinged me recently asking if I've seen any 240s. Well, this is about as close as we're gonna get on all the marketplace places. Uh, I don't know, this 260Z is expensive. You can now import them. They're 40 years old. Anything older than 40, you need to speak to a Sava, South African Vintage and Veteran Association and get a permit from them then you'll take that permit or approval rather to ITAC. ITAC will then give you the permit then you follow the exact process that you would on a collector's item vehicle to bring it into South Africa and you can get these very cheap in the states and overseas. You're gonna have to find a right hand drive version though. Left hand drive you won't be able to bring in. Well at least not easily good looking car though for the true enthusiasts uh, was a 25 year old barn find restored from the ground up i mean i'm don't get me wrong it's it's great but i don't know so much about that needless to say i am going to give it a decent rating of 7 out of 10 because i have a soft spot for these oh moving on to this evo 7 it's Botswana registered. It's got a decent ad here. So these are like maintenance items really. Cars registered in Botswana. It's unfortunate you won't be able to register in South Africa easily. Unless you're a returning resident, you're coming back from Botswana and this car was there, then you could possibly buy it. Bring it across, no problem. Anyway, it looks to be in stock form. That's a stock engine based stock intake. Very nice 4G63T. Don't think that is stock I'm not 100% sure but that that's a good looking interior these carpets or rubber mats they don't belong that doesn't belong the gauge doesn't belong other than that the car is stock looks really good seats are stock stock require stock boot trunk damn I mean that's a pity we can't get these easily in South Africa or SA Reg there are a couple, but they brought through returning residents or dealer might have brought one or two in. So unfortunately, because it's Botswana registered, just slap on a six out of 10. Oh my God. This car. <laughs> so, I saw this about two, three weeks ago, plus minus, and I had a laugh at it and I was supposed to film one of these episodes and I just couldn't find a lot of cars for sale. So I kind of put this on hold. Luckily it's still for sale. So I could show you guys and laugh a little bit about the ad unless he has fixed it. So he's he's done the whole color matching like to a veil side. So it's it's close, but look at that. Let, let's look at the pictures first. It's missing one headlight cover over here. What do you notice? No rotary. It's got a 2J in it. That's cool. It's got some sort of body kit on it. You can see that much, but it ain't no veil side kit. And if you scroll down, look at the ad. Here's the funny part. 2JZ powered has non VVTIN, so that's cool. It's got a BC rear kit, blah, blah, blah. Um, it has a forger braking system all around. I've never heard about that one. Pedal box, blah, blah, blah. 
Here's the funny part. It's got a dictator management Xbox. It's got wall, bro. It's an extra L. And the car makes 560 kilowatts. Okay, that is mean. That is properly mean. Uh, 1.5 bar boost, but spinning, missing an O. Too much on the dunno. More videos. Yeah, we'll be sent if you ask. Offers welcome. Um, yeah, it also mentioned here that it has a veil side kit. Where is that? Modified turbo manifold and veil side kit. That is the furthest thing from. Maybe it is a veil side kit, but not the same one from the Fast and Furious movie. The color, yes. That about it. I'm just. Because he's made some crazy power, and I mean the ad is okay, other than the spelling issues and not making too much sense. I just, yeah. 6 out of 10. Another RX-7 popped up. This one has a rotary in it, which is cool. It does have a big single turbo, he's got a front mount intercooler, front mount radiator, he's got a Sparco seat in it, then he's got one of the stock later model seats. So what, what year model is this one? It's a 95. That's cool. We often don't see those seats in in some of the models. Those look like Brembo's on the car, possibly Brembo's or just resprayed gold calipers. Let's see if we can get a clearer image. Could be Brembo's. Could be. Nice setup. Fuel pressure regulator at the top. FD3S for sale. Uh, list of modification extras are endless. Oh, I mean they seem to end over there, but. Uh, George is selling it. I think he might be Portuguese. Uh, ah, there we go. Oh, no, okay, that's a different name. Luiz. But then George is. Anyway, Portuguese. Uh, brand new Master Power. I'm not going to read this. You guys pause the video or go take a look at the ad. Go buy the car. I'm going to give this. And it's got a Sparco harness. I saw that now. Nice. It's got these things dampeners. Uh, 7 out of 10. Good luck with the sale man moving on to this gs 300 now you've got to remember something these have got a 2j in it it's an na version of the 2j so it's a ge but it does have a 2j in it this one however has a problem with the gearbox which is fine because it has a 2j in it if the engine is working this could be a really decent project car pull it out redo this whole thing and get a manual in here i mean you can make it look semi-stock do some work on the 2j maybe do an nat conversion and okay obviously clean up the rest of the vehicle you can do like a vrp top spec with built 2j and this could be an absolute beast for an asking price of twenty-five thousand, you could probably knock him down a little bit more i don't know but this is a ridge if 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 I had the finances right now, I would throw 20k. Cool car. It's busy sitting in neutral or reverse. Because the price is really good and it's got a 2J and there seems to be nothing wrong with the engine, only other than the gearbox, I'm going to give this a nice 7 out of 10 because it seems like a good project car. Oh, <laughs> and this seems like a really bad project car. This is a Mark III Super GT Twin Turbo Rolling Edition. Okay, it's just twin turbo edition but uh, this car is rusty it looks like surface rust wait till you see the interior damn oh shit what's in the background i just noticed this now i don't know what that is porsche is that a porsche Ugh. anyway um cheap i guess i don't know if it's got papers i doubt it <laughs> Four out of ten. The ad don't tell you nothing. Negotiable. Hey, negotiable. Five for ten. Um, then we have okay. This is technically not really JDM. This is Mitsubishi Starion. Remember, some time ago I went to actually take a look at one. It was the proper ESIR model, the all-wheel drive. A really cool car. And then I decided not to pull the trigger. And I actually, yeah, I don't know. Kind of regret it now. This is the USDM version, so it's left-hand drive. Apparently this one's legendary. This particular model is not legendary. It's also missing some pieces. Um, yeah, 
real head turner people refer to as fondly as the kit nut rider's car. I don't know, I've never heard that one. But I did go and see that ESI R model, which has the wide body and the 4G63T. <laughs> A lot better than the 2.6 liter US spec. I don't, I don't even want to rate this because I may offend the owner. So Another Lexus. This one is in very good nick. Very, very good nick. Look at that engine bay. Wow. IS300. I probably should have paused on there. So there's your 2J, it'll be the same as the other one. Good buy, but not good buy. Hello, this is a great buy. 80 grand, neat. Looks like it's well looked after. Again, now let's just go with the seven out of 10. And that's the IS model, so it's a little bit sportier as well, not as bulky as the other one. The last two vehicles is this Mark III Silica. Guy wants a thousand two hundred rand for it. It's probably a typo. Uh, vehicle is in good condition. Has no motor or gearbox. It is a import. It is a import. Was a race car. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it does want a thousand two hundred bucks for. It. Maybe it's worth it. It's front wheel drive though. Could always be converted. Give this a five out of ten. I'm just not sure on the price. And the last vehicle for the evening is this Nissan Champ Bucky 1400, uh, nothing to fix. I don't know, I don't know much about these, but I mean, you could turn this into, oh, look at that, JDM thing. It's got a little samurai sword there for a gear knob. It, it looks like it needs a hell of a cleanup. This is an old school setup. Look at that size of this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, no comment, no rating. Um, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will be diving into the garage pretty soon. I need to do some stuff on both the RX-7s and uh, I'll be uploading that in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.